What's up guys? Welcome to Drop It Like It's Scott. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, if you haven't already, please feel free to hit that subscribe down low. I would really appreciate it. Today's video is brought to you by Sovereign Ammo. Check out Sovereign Ammo in the link in the description below and pick up your ammo today. Thank you to Sovereign Ammo for supplying the ammunition for today's video. There are some rifles in this world today that are just fantastic and they're just out of this world. I look forward to that day of being able to get one of those rifles that is forged in the realm of superheroes. This is goodness in my hand. Dear God, it's beautiful. This is Argos Ordnance. This is their A115 AR15. And I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you to Chad up at Iraq Veteran for sending this down. You guys don't know how much this means to me. So there are a plethora of things on this gun, but first, just look. So let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about this Argos Ordnance Rifle. This thing is freaking epic. This is the Argos Ordnance Rifle Speed A115R Series. This is forged 16 inch mid-length gas system, 5.56 NATO, completely 100% all American made using a 40 point QC checklist. If you wanna see that QC checklist, I will have that in the description below where you can check this thing out in all of the checklists that it goes through. This is the R series rifle featuring the latest and fully adjustable gas system by Rifle Speed. This is on the fly toolless tuning for normal and suppressed use. You can put a suppressor on top of that. That is one of the cool features on here. This one has the CHF mid-length gas barrel, which is the top option that they offer. Also has your A5 recoil system, which comes standard. This charging handle is the BCM charging handle, but all of them now come with the Radian Raptor LT. That is another feature that is really good that you guys can expound upon. When you take down the rifle, you'll probably say that these are really tight. Well, that is done on purpose to keep the upper and lower in the tight fit that you want it to be in. They will break in over time, of course, but it is still a tight tolerance. So when you order your Argos Ordnance, there are many options that you can have. This one has the CHF mid-length gas barrel, which is the top option that they offer, as well as custom options for different muzzle devices and other minor changes that you can do upon request. Geisley trigger, and let's go ahead and check out that trigger. You know me, I like to show triggers. And here we go. The trigger that is a smooth trigger Geisley makes some really good good triggers the upper is forged in 7075 t6 aircraft aluminum the barrel is 16 inch 556 nato with a 17 twist qpq corrosion resistant finish m4 feed ramps are standard on this for more details to the rifle speed head on over to the interweb and check out rifle speed dot you know the rest the BCG is an 8620 steel carrier M16 cut DLC diamond light carbon. The lower is a 7075 T6 aircraft grade aluminum M16 cut as well, A5 9 position receiver extension. The Radeon Talon 4590 safety selector switch, which is right here, and that is Ambi as well. And it is a B5 Bravo stock and a B. 5P23 grip and this grip is great because it's got some serious grip texture right here on the sides and on the front smooth on the back but it's got some good grip I really like the grip on this complete weight of this rifle is 6.8 six pounds eight ounces without the optic 
optic adds a little bit extra weight to it. Make sure you head on over to Argos Ordnance and order yours today. Make sure you tell Chad that Drop It Like a Scott sent you and pick yours up today. Now, the best part about this is we're gonna take it out to the range and we're gonna shoot it and we're gonna test the gas system. All right, let's go. All right, and one thing that they have on here, what Chad put on here is his Trigicon 1 by 4 by 24 scope. This thing is crazy and he's got his Trigicon red dot. We're gonna go to town with this thing. All right, here we go. I have yet to fire this gun. I'm really excited about it. Here we go. We're gonna go for the steel down low and then we're going to adjust the gas to see how it does best. Make sure we have no hikers anywhere in the back, which we do, so we're gonna kinda hold off for a second. Don't wanna scare the hikers back there. All right, they're over there. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> that was hardly any movement at all. That just looks so good in this gun. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how the gas adjustable gas system works on there. We got one round. We're going to do one round at a time and we're going to adjust the gas as we shoot the one round until it locks the bolt back. That will be where you put the gas system. That's where the best gas set will be for you, for the shooting, for that gun, for that ammo that you're using. So we're going to start it at one and see how it goes. Got one round in there, and we are on target. Here we go. All right, so it didn't hold open. Let's take another round. Put one more round in there. Set the gas to two. So now we're on two. It didn't even eject that uh, casing, so now we're going to check it, see how it goes. Here we go. Still. So now let's move it to three. Put another round in. All right. We're on number three now. Still. Did not ejected it. But the gas is not set where it should be or where it needs to be. So let's move it to number four. All right, let's go to number five. Put another round in. We're at number five. Safety's on. All right. So what we have now is that five is where the gas was set to where it held the bolt back. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to do another round, test it just to make sure, and if that's the spot, we're gonna move it up one more from five to six, just to be sure. All right, gears back on. Oh. Didn't hold it open. So now let's jump up to six just to check that out. So we're on six now. Huh. 
still didn't lock it open. So that five was misleading. So now we're on seven. We're on seven. Here we go. We're on seven, let's move it to eight. There we go. Oh, my ears are working now. <laughs> I guess it just needed a swift kick on the side of the head. So, all right, so we're we're sitting at, at number, number nine right now. So the ammunition that I was using was needed to have the gas almost all the way up at nine. So we're gonna get some more ammo and we're gonna load it back up and make sure it runs. All right, so we got about 10 or 11 rounds. We're going to uh, run it, see how it does. Here we go. A few more in there. Held open. So the gas is set exactly where it should be for this particular ammunition. And this is what they mean by rifle speed, controlling your gas to where you can control on the fly where the gas should be. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is an absolute machine that y'all need to glorify yourselves with because heaven spoke and it said Argos Ordnance. Check them out. This is Drop It Like It's Scott with the Argos Ordnance AR-15, the A115R series. This is a monster. Yes. Thank you guys for watching this. Please be sure to hit that subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff down there. Um, I'm going to put some more rounds through this thing because my Lord in heaven, this is fantastic. All right, let me leave you with your word of encouragement for today. All right, so your encouragement today comes out of a spot in my study Bible where it talks about fear and uh, being courage. And it says, this is talking about David when he faced Goliath, it says, David's courage came from realizing that God ultimately strengthens and empowers us to accomplish whatever frightening or challenging tasks that are set before us. David's fearless, fearlessness came from knowing that he was never alone and neither are we because the battle belongs to the Lord. Hey, thanks for watching. Drop a like it, Scott. Please feel free to hit that like, subscribe, share down low if you like this video, if you like everything that's going on in this channel. We got goals we want to crush. We got things we want to do over here and I need you to be a part of it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the journey. Until next time.